It's Sunday the... Oh, you're over there. Hello, it's Sunday the 6th of September 2015. Greetings. I've been out away for a few days, just uh, quite busy, really. There was a, We had a major system failure this week uh, on... I think it was on Thursday. I think it was Thursday. And in the morning, I came in to record a little show. And no picture on the, on the video screen. Well, there was, but everything had moved. In front of me here, I've got two um, monitors, okay, for the computer, right? And I switched it on, and there was nothing on the second monitor. And on the first monitor, the entire picture had shifted over that way. So I would have been sitting here instead of here. And then you would have got very confused about that, wouldn't you? Be honest, I was sitting here instead of here. Not only that, there were two lines coming down the screen. And I thought about it. Oh, now, what could that be? There's something wrong. Anyway, I restarted it a few times. This is my main studio computer. It's main, sh main, sh well, my main computer. The, the main one that I do virtually everything on, OK? And I couldn't think of what it was. Well. I thought and I thought and I thought. I thought, this has got to be the video card. It's got to be the video card. And I rung up my good friend, Ben Parker, karaoke host, extraordinaire, and also guitar player and all-round good chap, who's actually got me out of quite a few sticky situations uh, with computers and uh, karaoke-type things before. And he agreed that it was probably the video card. So I looked up, you know, what, I couldn't remember what... Oper Do you know, the, the operating system on my main computer, what do you think I got? Vista. That's how old it is. I thought, well, I've had this computer about four years. And then when I looked on on the, uh, you know, the about my computer where it comes up, how much RAM and all that you've got. 2007, dear. This is really old. This guy never realised. And I'm still on it now. Anyway, so I thought, well, I don't really don't want to buy another computer this year. I, I kind of earmarked it for halfway through next year to purchase a new computer. So I went down to Maplin's and I see what they had in there and um, got a video card. Wait, I've got the box here, haven't I? Oh, dear. <clears throat> Bought one of these things. 130 quid, a GeForce GTX 750. And it's fabulous because it's got three um, outputs on it. So you can have actually three screens attached to it. Do you know, I think I've got another spare throw. I've actually got two attached to this one. Anyway, put it in, ran the software, and it worked. And I, I've never, ever considered myself a computer expert. Never in a thousand years. And I still don't know now, and I'm really proud of myself. Here's the old one. Look at that. Look at it. It's quite a big piece, and they're, they're not light. This is quite a heavy thing with a little fan on it and all that. And this basically makes all the pictures come out on the, on the video screen. So it's all fixed and working. And here we are again. Here we are again to share just a few moments together, just you and I, a personal thing between you and I. Just personal, personal, personal. Now, we've had some more emails about Name That Duck, and today we will Name The Duck. Uh, emails. Uh, Ross says, call the duck crispy. Don't like crispy, Ross. Don't like crispy, dear. And I'll be very, very disappointed if I find you at any point in your life eating a poor little duck like this. I don't want to hear that, Ross. All right. Wendy says puddles. Thank you. Uh, uh, Wendy also likes the tiles that I showed you in the last show. Did you miss them? Oh, I've put them up on my door now. I I'll, I'll try and remember to put that in a little video um, this week sometime. Shania says puddles as well. Um, ben says peaking because it's, you know, the idea is that it's a glasses holder, and I've just about got the got the knack of this now, right? Hang on a minute, look. Just about got the knack of this now, look. So you put you have to put the handle behind its eyes, and then the glass is on the end of the nose, and then it and then it kind of stays there. There you go. Look, well, sort of, nearly. Is that it? There we are. That that well, that'd do, wouldn't it? <laughs> peeking. Ben says peeking. Sorry, you've always said that. Anne says Pete. Mary says Pete. Rory says puddles. Stephen says puddles. Hello, Stephen. All right. I know we don't get to talk a lot. A little bit busy here. Uh, I'm sorry I don't always reply to um, your group things and all that, Stephen. But I am there observing. We are observing the earth. Observe. Observe. Uh, Chris says puddles. Uh, when uh, uh, Richard says it's a puffin, not a penguin. What this is? Oh, the, on the tiles. Yes, I did correct myself, actually, if you don't mind me saying so, Richard. 
If you look back at that video, I did correct myself. Do try and watch all the videos towards the end, right the way to the end, before you feel the need to comment. Thank you, Richard. God's sake. Honestly, it's always people trying to point out my faults, isn't there? And Tom says Pete as well. So there we are. It seems to be going between Pete and Puddles. Doesn't it? So it's going to be Pete or Puddles. And I've had a, a little thing about this. And I think I'd like to call him Pete. Pete the Duck. Quack, 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 quack. So say hello, everyone, to Pete the Duck. Quack, quack. quack. Quack, quack. And we must place him up here. On top of the clock. Oh, you can't see. Hang on, move him over there. Can you see that? Can you see Pete the Duck there? There he is now installed on my clock. Now, um, uh, last year, a very, very kind, kind lady sent me a beautiful uh, light-up cat, which you would have seen um, over the last uh, few months. I have now moved him into the living room. I hope you're OK. I hope you don't mind that. But there's a little place in the living room. I, in fact, I'll, I'll, I, I, that's something else I'll film this week as well for you, OK? I'll show you where he is. But if you want me to bring him back in here, I will do. Um, I'll have to put, 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 probably put him down here now. Uh, but he, he's got his own little place in the living room. So you let me know if that's OK, all right? Because I don't want, don't want to upset anyone, dear. I don't want to upset anyone because we are full of happiness. Although I wasn't happy last night. Bloody hell, weren't it cold? How cold was it on Saturday night when I got in? I actually turned the heating on for two hours. Two hours, dear. And got another duvet out. I was freezing because I haven't been sleeping too well recently. I don't know why I keep waking up during the night. I had a very, very strange dream the other day. Oh, yes. Really strange. Um, there were four lads, right? And they were dirty. This, this is a, a real dream. This was, they were dirty. So they had decided to go into a washing machine. <laughs> into a, a washing machine, right? So, and Ronnie was with us as well. My mate Ronnie. So we put them into a washing machine and put it on. And I was worried... And Ronnie says, no, leave them. That's what they wanted. They'll leave them. And then it was just about, it was just going on, started the final spin. I said, oh, you're going to have to turn it off now. They are not going to survive a final spin. Right? So we turned it off. Now, of course, you know what happens, ladies, when you turn the washing machine off before it's finished. You can't open a damn door. And we had to leave her off the back. <laughs> I remember it so vividly. We had to leave it off the back of the washing machine. And then the door came open. And out of the washing machine, like, the, the, all these boys had shrunk. That They were about, they would have been about 20, between 20 and 23, I would say, the age of these boys that, were, that had climbed into this washing machine in my dream. Right? And we, so the door opened and we carefully removed them and they were they had shrunk to the size of the palm of our hands. And I lifted them out carefully and I put them. Um, now, where did I, I put them on like a worktop, like a like a kitchen work. Oh, yeah, that would make sense. Like a kitchen worktop. And I'm looking after. Like, oh, my God, Ronnie, I think they're dead. And they were all like um, floppy. Do you know what I mean? Like they had no bones in them. Like like Morph. Do you remember Morph on the television? Do you remember that? They were like Morph, but they were all floppy like that. <laughs> and white as a sheet, of course, because they'd been because they'd been washed. They were skin toned, but all floppy. And um, I said, "Oh my God, what are we going to do?" And then one of them moved. So we quickly, carefully tilted all the others up onto their sides, and the water cut, and, and then they were alive again. And then I woke up. Isn't that the weirdest dream ever? <laughs> I'm going to try it on the cat. Do you reckon that work? Ronnie's got four cats. Now, do you wash... <laughs> ladies, now you ladies are washing experts. You are... That's not, not a derogatory comment. Don't start saying I'm sexist or just turn it off because I'm not interested. Ladies, you are expert in washing. Now, with cats, they're different colours. Should I wash them separately or all at the same time? 
because we're not quite so you know you know someone won't see the funny side of this don't you someone will write in Oh, you crawled a cat. Oh, that's really politically incorrect. Oh, get lost. Get lost. If you don't like it, turn it off. If you're not amused by this, then I'm the one who's funny and you're not. So there you are. Now, what do we do, ladies? Do we put all the cats in at the same time, different colours, because he's got two ginger, one black and grey and one tabby? Is it safe to put them all in at the same time, perhaps on a low wash? And how long for? Do we not have the spin at the end? Because I think that's quite dangerous for creatures, including small, small cats and, uh, and, and young men. <laughs> I've got to say, that must be the weirdest dream I've ever had. That was on Friday night. I haven't been sleeping too well at all. No wonder with dreams like that, dear. Anyway, that's it for today. Uh, before I go, I'd just like to spread a little happiness into your life. Are you ready? Yes. We're going to stand up for this. Happiness, happiness, the greatest gift that I possess. I thank the Lord that I've been blessed with more than my share of happiness. To me, this world is a wonderful place. I'm the luckiest human in the human race. I've got no silver and I've got no gold, but I've got happiness in my soul. Happiness to me is an ocean tide, a sunset fading on a mountainside, a big old heaven full of stars above, when I'm in the arms of the one I love. Happiness, happiness, the greatest gift that I possess. I thank the Lord that I've been blessed with more than my share of happiness. Happiness is a field of grain Turning its face to the falling rain I see it in the sunshine, breathing in the air Happiness, happiness everywhere A wise old man told me one time Happiness is a frame of mind When you go to measuring a man's success Don't count money, count happiness Happiness, happiness the greatest gift that I possess I thank the Lord that I've been blessed With more than my sense of happiness Happiness, happiness The greatest gift that I possess I thank the Lord that I've been blessed With more than my share of happiness i got more than my share of happiness